Hi, this is Simon Obstall and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today we're going to be taking a look at an effect that's very simple to do, but is surprisingly, mesmerizingly interesting to look at. It evolves very, very slowly and creates all sorts of different shapes and color changes and so on. It's a really interesting effect, but I say really easy to do, so let's make a start on it. So let's first of all check up on our product setup. So 1920 1080, 24 frames a second, and I've gone for a duration of 30 minutes. So really long timeline. So the first thing I'm going to do is just bring in a background, colour solid, put it into a new group behind that main group, and I'm just going to make this 7% brightness, just so we've got a little nice dark blue black ground. Then I'm going to come to this other group. I'm going to select the rectangle tool. I'm going to hold down the shift key and draw it a rectangle like that. Come over and reset parameter. Come over to the shape here. Let's set the size to be 640. Let's come over to the style. So the fill color, I want to be a sort of like 25% gray, something like that. And I also want to reduce its opacity down to about two. Uh, it's very, very faint, but it will actually have an effect on the overall result. And I want to turn on the outline. White is good for the color. And I want to keep a width of two pixels. So then what we're going to do to this rectangle is come over to properties. What we're going to do is apply oscillate behaviors to the rotation. So first of all, let's start with the X add parameter behavior oscillate. So amplitude of 85 degrees and a speed of 0.4. And I want to go for a phase of four. Then I want to do the same thing with the Y. So add parameter behavior oscillate. Again, let's go for 85 degrees. Let's have 0.5 for the speed. And let's have a phase of two. Come over and do the same thing for the Z. Add parameter behavior oscillate. Again, let's have 85 degrees and a speed of 0.6 and a phase of zero is going to be fine for that. So then I'm also going to add an oscillate to the Z position. So right click, add parameter behavior, oscillate. 100 pixels is fine. Let's go for a speed of 0.1. Uh, so that's the entirety of the 30 minutes. And you can see that the, the square sort of rotates in all manner of different ways with a little bit of subtle resizing as it goes. So then what we're going to do is going to take this group and we're going to right click make clone layer and we're going to turn off that original group and with the clone selected we're going to come to object and replicate. For the shape we're going to select line we're going to zero out those two x values. We're going to have 240 points. We're going to come down and select additive blend and I'm just going to set the scale ends to be 1, 2, 5. And the key thing here is the source frame offset value. I'm going to set that to 5. And immediately you can see how it's all working. We've got an interesting evolving shape. Now it's all white and it's all kind of horribly blown out. And to fix that, we're going to come in and select a gradient. So from the drop down menu there, we're going to scroll down until we get to rainbow. And for the color mode, we're going to select over pattern. And you can see immediately how that's working. I'm also going to apply filters, color and hue saturation here and set that saturation value to negative 0.5. So we've got slightly less strident colors. So you can see we've got all these very interesting shapes happening. Just want to come back to that replicator and the gradient and i'm not entirely happy with how these colors are working so i'm going to shut this chap over here and then i'm going to grab the red and i'm holding down the option key i'm going to drag it to the right like that so we've got a copy and then i'm going to click on this little button here which evenly distributes those color tabs across the gradient i just think i prefer that distribution of colors more. And so that really is the effect. I don't think it's going to play back because I'm also screen recording. I'm getting roughly 20 frames a second. 
uh, which is um, not too bad, obviously. And I've kind of just chosen to have this evolve very, very slowly. You know, you can easily come back in here and adjust the speed of these oscillations and you'll get a, a, a livelier result. I just think that very, very slow unfolding is kind of what adds to the charm of this. And there's only one other thing I would do is come to the replicator and filters and blur and Gaussian blur and might just set that value up to something like eight and that will avoid any kind of jaggies that you might get. Otherwise, let's turn that on and off. You can see that here where the square is kind of angled very finely, it's getting a little bit jaggy. Maybe eight is too extreme. Let's go for four. That's probably enough. There you go. We don't want to blur it too much, but it's just, just take care of that problem. So anyway, as you see, very, very simple. Lots of opportunities to, to finesse it and do different things with it. But um, I hope hopefully that's given you the basic principle and you can go crazy with it. Thanks very much indeed for watching. See you again soon.